thank you for your interest in the Aiken Horsemanship Academy preschool program. I'm Kendra Decay, head of the Foundations program at Aiken Horsemanship Academy, and here with my little assistant, the two-year-old thoroughbred filly, Kia, I'm going to walk you through about a 10-minute preview of what you can expect when you send your young horse in for our preschool program. Uh, we call our training program foundations because a solid foundation is needed whether you are building a cottage or a skyscraper. Our goal is to develop a well-rounded, emotionally fit horse that is an excellent lifetime learner and sees humans as partners. We have taken in driving horses, polo ponies, um, jumpers, um, Kia is, has a future as a fox hunter, all kinds of uh, horses for different disciplines and futures um, can benefit from our foundations program. The preschool program is all groundwork and preparation for riding. It's also appropriate for remedial problems um, with horses of any age. Many times trouble arises in the horse world because we're asking our horse for college level performance when he has holes in his elementary school education, which is why um, our basic uh, groundwork program we call preschool. And then kindergarten begins um, with under saddle work. So um, with our preschool program, we're going to cover such um, things that you've seen here as uh, basic leading on a loose lead, giving to pressure, picking up and handling feet, um, and some other just life skills such as tying, cross-tying, haltering, um, accepting fly spray and bathing, clipping. Uh, Kia, uh, you can see here, is wearing a western saddle and carrying a bit in her mouth. All of these um, basic life skills that she's going to need um, going on for her future. We also um, specialize in really taking the horse's basic personality. Kia, for example, is kind of a reactive horse that um, had a little bit of trouble having her feet handled and her back end handled and touched. She would kind of kick out and be reactive. So we really take the time it takes to um, handle a horse and meet them where they're at and work through any specific issues that that horse's personality may have so that they feel good about the training process, confident, relaxed, obedient, um, and uh, focused. So we're really setting uh, and putting in place some habits for a lifetime of good partnership here. Um, for example, here, uh, Kia is a little distracted by the horse up on the hill, and I'm just gently putting a little pressure on her, reminding her that her job there is to stand uh, at a distance from me and keep her attention and focus on me. That can be hard for a young horse. Here I'm doing a little bit of preparation for future lunging. We don't like to do a whole lot of lunging or round penning at this age and stage of horses. It's hard on their joints. Uh, we just do the minimum needed uh, for their attention and some basic responsiveness to going forward um, and maintaining a little bit of gait and um, being able to yield their hind end uh, and not pull on the rope and bring their energy up or down depending on what we're asking for. So really just uh, emotional fitness here is all the, the purpose we, we see in circling at this age and stage, knowing what their job is and having a good attitude about it. And we don't belabor the point. So here I'm running through her transitions at Liberty in the round pen. At liber by at liberty, I mean she's not connected to me by a rope. She's also, you'll notice, wearing boat buoys attached to that saddle. That just helps desensitize her to the legs of the rider. And my goal when I work her at liberty is to see the same kind of transitions and uh, mental state that I would like to have when I ride her. So this here is very good. I feel like all of that looks very rideable and pleasant. We also uh, prepare the horse with basic skills such as ponying, 
Uh, Kia's owner may never wish to pony her, but she is probably going to want to ride her in company with her future as an eventer and a fox hunter. And uh, so part of what ponying does is teach the horse good socialization, being able to travel um, with other horses nearby and not feel that they need to bite or kick or be defensive or be afraid of the other horse. As you can see, it also allows them to practice kind of syncing up with another horse um, and following the, the energy up or down like we're going to want them to do with a rider. Trailering is another practical skill that we cover in the foundations program um, at the preschool level for most horses. As a little note, we don't uh, generally haul the horses tacked up. Um, I'm just practicing here, and she happens to be saddled. We also put some emphasis on them standing calmly in the trailer, making sure they're relaxed before we close them in. And then um, backing out is just as important as getting in. So I'm going to take my time and let her practice this slowly and calmly. And that can help prevent accidents in the future with a horse that's panicky and wanting to rush in or out of the trailer. We really take our time to get the horse 100% confident with trailer loading. At the preschool stage, we also cover a variety of desensitizing to different objects. Here I'm using a plastic bag on a stick. Uh, this used to be very difficult for Kia, especially around her back end and around her ears. Um, but as you can see, she's improving very nicely. We also use um, objects such as uh, carriages, um, bridges, water crossing, um, we've got a little horse car wash with pool noodles that hang down, tarps, um, all kinds of things uh, that we can think of that make noise and motion and um, can help prepare a horse for scary objects they may see in the future. Here's another example of a desensitizing tool in our toolbox, a big bouncy ball. This uh, can also help prepare the horse for the motion of the rider uh, bouncing up and down and then jumping on their back. So we consider this a pre-mounting exercise and letting the ball fall off various spots on the horse's body. Of course, we would repeat everything on both sides. And then in Kia's case, we also worked on lining up at the mounting block, some pre-mounting exercises, and then this is the very first time she's had anybody sit on her back. Um, she was close enough to, to mature to be able to be sat on, um, but that's, uh, that depends on the horse's age for preschool. Usually that's not included. We sent her home after this to do a little growing up. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your interest in our preschool program. Uh, we hope you'll consider putting your horse in training with us. Please check out the website and feel free to contact me if you have any more questions. Thanks a lot.